four hundred people to like seven, and then it goes back up again, and then it goes back down again, and then it goes back up again. I'm just giving it a minute because it like it notifies people and let it do its thing. Let TikTok do its thing. This is a little late for me too. <laughs> you can't you can't see anything on here see that's what I, I wonder on here sometimes like I feel like it goes in and out and I don't know if it's like the spot that I'm in in my house this topic is we talk about manifestation creating your own reality I don't know if you do. Okay. Kale, Kale. I don't know if I'm saying your name right. But yeah, we just talk about creating your own reality, practicing non reaction. We, we, we talk mostly about deprogramming your mind, right? So, not so much doing anything to manifest because we know that everything is already done right creation is finished all the stories are already written every timeline exists here and now so we talk mostly about um basically de deprogramming your mind from all of the programming right from all those limiting beliefs and um mostly about calip calif cal Kalf? I could say that in a lot of different ways. I don't want to say it wrong. Oh, okay. Khalif. Khalif. Okay. There. I didn't see you had the next to it. You had the pronunciation. Khalif. Thank you for that. <laughs> oh, gosh. I always get Julia Roberts all the time. So, yeah, we, we talk mostly about knowing that what you want is done, right? Every possible reality exists in this very moment. Every timeline exists. Anything you want to experience is a possibility for you in this very moment. And more so making it about deprogramming your mind. So basically you're quieting your world through meditation, breath work, remaining calm, and making it more about how you feel, right? When something doesn't feel good, we stay calm. We let those moments pass. We let those unfavorable thoughts fade out of our lives, right? On the other side of what you don't want is literally everything that you do want. It's it's literally that simple. That's the, mo that's the easiest way to manifest. Now, not saying you can't do things like you can't say affirmations or do those things. You just always want to check in with how you're feeling when you're doing anything because anything that's causing you resistance is is not doing anything at all. It's not serving you. Hi Ava. We went Oh, you did dream. How was that? That's so awesome. I love it. Cause and effect, yes. I got a call yesterday that my birth mother passed away. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that, male pal. Hi, Ava. I'm checking up. I dream. Happy Sunday. That's so awesome, dream. How was it? Was it so awesome? Like just watching your daughter, I'm sure, have a good time. That's the best feeling, right? Fleetwood Mac. <laughs> What's your interpretation of people? Are you pushed out? Yeah, so I believe that it's all us. It's all our energy, right? So basically, everyone in your reality, everything in your reality, Fleetwood Mac, is an opportunity for you to become a better version of you, right? So that's where calmness comes into play. Becoming the best version of you in those moments instead of re being so reactive, right? Taking things personally. So. Yes, everyone is you pushed out, right? It is that, it, it is simply just your energy. Everything's just reflecting back to you at all times. It's basically, to make it even simpler, it's basically just you and your thoughts, basically. So yes, I do agree. 
I do agree. Hi, Hebe. Am I famous? No, I'm not famous. <laughs> so you like the law of attraction? You know, it's so funny, Dragon Lair. I never look at it, look at, look at it as the law of attraction or anything. I just look at it as just it is how it is. Everything is at all times. It's only your energy, and and it's how you're responding to things in your reality. So I don't really look, everything's already here and now. So I don't really look at it as you're attracting anything into your life because everything already already exists here and now. It's that you're becoming more aware of those things when you stop reacting to life, right? You stop being so reactive. So I don't really get into any of the laws, any of them all, because it's basically, it's basically just you. It's, it's, everything is reflecting back to you at all times simply said and again the the more you stop the, the more the more you practice non reaction and you stop reacting to life so much you start becoming aware of all those things so you're basically deprogramming your mind hi mark how are you does that kind of make sense hi heather how are you <laughs> Yeah, I'm famous on here. I always say, well, I call my, my cat famous. For, so <laughs> that's my uh, interpretation of famous. No, but she looks similar. <laughs> yeah, a lot of people say that. I tend to blame myself knowing everything is me pushed out. Any suggestions? You blame yourself? Well, you know what? For me, Alma, and I'm just saying personally, I, that empowers me. That empowers me to know that it's all me. So you can actually, you can, you can um, interpret that differently in your reality and just say, you know what? I, I, I take responsibility. It's nothing to be hard on yourself for. It's now I have an opportunity to not take things so personally, or I have an opportunity to stay calm in those moments, right? I have an opportunity to, you know, do things that feel better in this moment, right? Not take it out on others or, so for me, I like taking full responsibility that it's only me and my energy. So it's, it's how you're perceiving it, right? You're not blaming yourself and in, in the fact that it's it's empowering to know that it's just you. You're in control, right? So you could look at it more that way, Alma. I don't know if that helps you at all. <laughs> yes, exactly, Galif. If I am negative, I feel like I messed up what I am manifesting. What do I do if I notice myself? You didn't, you can't mess anything up. It's impossible. Every moment is a new moment, right? It's, there is only the present moment. So what I would get, the advice I would give you is when you find yourself dropping in lower energies, you just practice, you practice remaining calm, right? You use those moments of when you are reacting or when you are getting upset as a moment to say, oh, it's okay, I'm allowed to react. I, this is good that this came up and showed me what I need to stay calm around. Because you're only practicing calmness. You're, you're just remaining calm in those moments when you're dropping in those lower energies and you're just let, letting them pass through you, that's it, right? You're just trying not to label them so much, quiet your thoughts as much as possible. Don't talk to anybody about it. I always say don't even talk to yourself, keep it as silent as possible. And just move throughout your day in the most graceful way possible while those lower energies are kind of hanging around you. Hi, Nathan. How are you? I'm good. It always sounds weird when I say that. When someone says, hi, how are you? I'm like, hi, I'm good. How are you? Like it just whatever flows. Is there a difference between being negative and being pessimistic? It's, they're pretty similar, Mickey. If you're in a lower energy, you're in a low, lower energy, right? I mean, it's all just lower energies. That's all. It's, it just doesn't feel good. So just make it more about, Mickey, like how you're feeling in that moment. If you're just not feeling so great, it, it's all the same thing. It's just you're in a lower energy. And in those moments, you're just, you're just, you're just being kind to yourself in those moments. I always say kind and kindness, calm and kind. Think of those two together in those moments. You're just remaining calm in those moments, silencing your thoughts as much as possible, being kind to others, don't take it out on others. It, it, it will pass, it will pass. And again, it gets easier. The more you practice this, the more you practice non-reaction, 
it gets easier and it's taking you out of those lower energies very gradually, right? So in time, what starts to happen is you may dip at times, but first of all, your, your life starts to get better. So the things just aren't the same. You're living more peaceful life. But when you do dip, it's so temporary and you're not in those low energies, right? You're kind of at a, you're, you're not dipping all the way down like you used to. It's different. You, you actually know how to um, handle it better, right? The contrast. Yes, common kind. I just always love putting them two together because it's not just about being calm. It's also about being kind in those moments, right? Like not lashing out at someone because you're not, you're just having a bad moment, right? And also being kind to yourself in those moments and just saying, it's okay that I'm having this moment. I'm human and I'm doing, you know, the work to get out of them gradually, but right now I'm having a moment. And that's where you go back to all the practices, the ones that I talk about, releasing resistance. Um, you can, you know, listen to something, like everything's always working out for me. You can do breath work, which again is extremely powerful. Like it's so helpful when you're in a lower energy. Sometimes you're in a lower energy and there's absolutely no story connected to it. You're just in a funk and there's no explanation for it. That's when I think breath work gets you out of it, in my personal opinion. Yes, Marlene. Marlene, is that, am I saying that right, Mar? I'll say Mar. Yep, it's all, it's all emotions. Weeks. It's that emotional charge, right? It's that emotional charge that keeps these things that aren't serving us in our reality. We keep giving, giving them that charge that, they, that keeps them alive in our reality. That's why um, calmness and non-reaction is literally, it, it's everything. <laughs> it's everything. Oh, thanks, Peter. Hi, an alignment. And the more you um, practice non-reaction, the, the, the more you start to see that. You get to be um, really aware of how much it truly is just your thoughts. It's your world. It's, you know, your creation. <laughs> I'm famous. I have a group on Facebook, I do. Messenger, you can check me out in my profile there. You'll see it if you scroll down and you'll see private Facebook group. Yep, and it's awesome. We are super positive in there. How do you deal with conflict and people that hurt you? So first you have to know, feel good, again, that nobody can hurt you in your reality. You have to remind yourself of that. Like. Nobody can hurt you in your reality. Again, that's where it's only your energy. It's only your thought. So that's you taking something personally. You're allowing someone to enter your reality. You are, you are um, charging that emotion, right? So that's where you wanna practice calmness. You wanna remind yourself that nobody can hurt you in your reality, it's only you. And that you're not, you're, and this is practicing non-reaction is gonna help you not take things so personally. You're gonna realize, wait a minute, it's, it's only me. Nobody can hurt me in my reality, right? And you just keep um, you know, practicing that and leaving that story where it is. You're coming, and uh, other tips and tricks you can do is that you, you come from kindness in those moments and compassion for others. Because you have to, you have to know that like, whatever you're matching is what you're gonna keep experiencing. So if you're like, they're treating me horrible, they're, they're being mean to me, well, you're just gonna keep experiencing that over and over again in your reality. So you need to rise above that. And how you do that is by staying calm, by reminding yourself, nobody can hurt me in my reality. You know, they're, everybody has stuff going on in their, in their lives and you know, you have compassion for others and you just leave that story where it's at and you keep moving on. Hi, Chris from Philly. I did, thank you. It's so true. It's all, it's everything in those higher energies. The more, again, the more you practice non-reaction, you start to see and become aware of how it's only your thoughts. So you understand that nobody has power, like that's where free will comes in, right? 
you're giving people free will by you know reacting to them right by reacting to these stories they're just a, it's just a story that doesn't serve you and when we're reacting and getting upset it's like inviting these these stories into our life right thanks johnny Yes. And in time, you don't really have to set any boundaries because your energy speaks for itself. Your energy will speak for itself. I don't set boundaries in my reality. I only, you know, I just, I'll say the word attract, but I pretty much attract positive experiences in my reality. And if something comes my way, that doesn't feel pleasant for a moment. I just stay calm and it goes away and that's it. And that's pretty much the end of it. Hi, Vols. That's okay, Becky. Just keep practicing calmness in those moments when you're feeling an anxious, right? You know, having anxiety, it, it could be, you could turn it more into an excitement. I, did I miss a question? Like, because basically if, the anxiety may be more exciting for you. I know that a lot of, sometimes for me, when I would be knowing something is coming up and I can feel it and I most like know it's like happening, I would get that nervousness too, right? I would get that anxious, like I would just be like in, just dipping in a lower energy all day and I'd be getting upset and it's, it's because you're stepping into that new, you know, reality. But you just keep practicing calmness no matter what, even if you need to like, I always say, even if you get upset or you cry, it's okay. Just keep getting right back into that, you know, energy of remaining calm and doing what you can do to feel the best you can in each moment. Surround yourself with positive people and thoughts and the universe will take care of you. Yes, Chris. And not even surround yourself, just like be, be the positive person. Because when you're the positive, kind person, you only get that back. I just made a video on that today, how you can practice changing your reality just by being kind to everybody, right? Being pleasant, being kind, being positive. But again, the biggest key to that is not expecting it in return. Do not expect it in return, right? Oh, you're doing it for yourself. You're doing it for your own energy. But in return, you will get that. Because that's what I only have positive experiences. When I go to the drive through I know the people, we're friends. When I go to the food store, it's I know them, I'm smiling, we have great interactions. Like my that's all I ever attract in my reality, like is because I'm always kind to everyone no matter what. And occasionally if someone doesn't give me the most positive attitude back, I never take it personally. Do not take it personally ever. Yes, Vols. I was just watching Impractical Jokers. Now that you say that, laughter is the best medicine and it's free. And smiling, right? Like even just smile sometimes. If you find yourself in a lower energy, literally just put a smile on your face. I know it's weird sometimes because you're like, eh, like I, sometimes I do it and I'm like driving in my car and I'm like people probably think I'm nuts because I'm just like, it just literally lifts your spirits as soon as you start to smile. And it's something so simple, right? But like it can, it can change your whole entire mood if you just start to smile. Oh good, you found it, Messenger. When I'm done here, I'll, I'll accept you because I just have to click accept. Yeah, like it, you just never take it personally, Dawn. And like, you know, you just, you also don't judge them. Like I always, my biggest thing is I, I, you never know what's going on in someone's lives. I, life, I will never judge anyone for having a bad day, right? Because we never know what, they don't know that they create their own reality. They don't know that their thoughts create their own reality. You know, we don't know what they have to go home to every day. We don't know what's going on in their lives. And, and that's, I just always still, I'm kind to everyone no matter what, because again, I don't really know their story. Right? And alignment you can feel it. You can feel your energy um, raise when you smile. It's just, it's, it's just weird sometimes because, like I said, like just to smile all day is kind of weird. But why? Why can't that be more normal, right? Definitely laughing. I, 
I like that's laughter is without a doubt like without a doubt just lightens everything without a doubt Heather definitely we, we are always taking things personally but here's the thing like we take it personally to the point where we cause we start creating this whole story around it and then what happens is you you see evidence of that right we keep it active in our lives so if we just stay calm in those moments and realize that nobody I, that's my biggest thing and, and everybody should get that like say that a lot and just get that like repetitive in your mind nobody can hurt me or affect nobody or nothing can hurt me or affect me in my reality i need to give it permission i need to give them or that situation permission to affect me and that's again again all going to come back to non-reaction because when you stay calm you're not giving anything permission oh yeah it is it's it's not on my phone but it is oh it just changed I know, and that's again why I always watch funny stuff. I try to stick to like comedies and stuff like that. Um, anything that's that's funny. That's why I like doing like my TikToks. I like doing the funny ones. Why are there so many variations on manifesting? It seems so many on here have their own take. Um, Dougie, it's because oh oh god. Sometimes I can't push this button. It's because they, other people, everybody's teaching it through their own experiences in a way or they're learning from other people. Um, and I say like everybody's learning based on or teaching it based on what, what they know. So they're still learning and figuring it out too, right? I even say that, I say that even like, I've tried all different things like techniques and all those things. It led me to non-reaction because it always brought me around in a cycle. So like even when I was manifesting things, I was still unhappy, right? So like it kept, I kept repeating stuff over and over. I'm like, wait a minute, I'm manifesting what I want, but why am I not happy? Because if you don't practice non-reaction, none of these things are going to mean nothing to you. You, Because it, it's all going to come back to feeling good. You really want to get yourself out of the lower energies. That's key. And then manifesting is so much easier too when you when you're just feeling good because you pretty much just say it and it just kind of things just kind of start to show up i feel like you don't even have to like it's just meant for you it's almost like the story's already written that that's how i've noticed things yeah dream like dream says it's whatever resonates with you too like the way i teach a lot of things through abraham hicks and if people resonate with her they'll probably resonate with me because that's a lot of the stuff so it does, it is, it does come down to who you resonate with as well. No, that's, that can't happen because it's all you. It's all you just having doubts. Uh, chum, chums, chumsky, is, am I saying that right? It's all just your doubts and, and fears. That's all you're, you're, you're. You're doubting and you're in fear. You're, that's all lower energies. They don't feel good. And you just you just want to keep practicing calmness in those moments. It's unfolding in this very moment. It's just not coming on your time, right? And that's what's, you, you want it now, but you need to practice feeling good without it, right? Everyone is different. We are all unique. Yes, and alignment. Seems like many want to cross home plate walking. I want to slide in sideways. <laughs> Guys, remember your desires are already yours. Yes. Dorky said it. Remember your desires are already, they're all, it's done. It's already done. Just, you know, keep doing the best you can to feel good now the best you can now you don't have to be perfect just keep practicing that keep doing i call it energy work how can we doubts and you it's all it all it, diab i don't know if i'm saying that right it, it's all going to come down to non-reaction because just know that that's all lower energy stuff right that's all things that we want to get out of permanently we want to get out of those lower energies permanently so this is where the practice is this is the practice that you're doing while everything's unfolding for you 
while it's all unfolding is you're practicing non-reaction in those moments. You're silencing those doubts and fears, right? That's why I always say make it about how you feel. Make it about feeling because you're going to know when you're not feeling good. We know when we're not feeling good. When we're feeling good, it's pretty natural. You're in flow. You're not worrying about stuff. Life is good, right? Things are flowing. You're just having a good day. Everything, one thing after the next just seems to work out. It's when we dip in those lower energies that we want to catch. We want to catch those moments and keep catching those moments over and over again because you'll get better at it. And those doubts and fears are just you not feeling good. That's all they are. Don't connect the story to it as much as possible. And if there is a story attached to it, move slower, breathe slower, do the breath work techniques, right? Um, you know, silence those thoughts as much as possible. Don't speak to anyone about it. And I even say, don't even speak to yourself about it. Just move in silence in those moments. No, I mean, you're human. Like you're gonna have moments, like when you, if you're getting in a fight or anything like that, you just, you, you, you remain calm in those moments, right? You get yourself in a, a higher energy coming from a good place. Oh, I missed that question. Oh, we, I say it. Is it okay to react during a bad conversation? I don't think I can not react to the combo. So you want to practice not reacting. You want to keep practicing non-reaction because if you keep reacting, you're going to keep experiencing unfavorable things in your reality, right? So you, you can react. I, I can't tell you not to. You can do whatever you want. But if you really want to start experiencing your, you know, your best life and move towards your best life manifestations in the best way possible, you want to practice non-reaction. So you want to use these scenarios in your reality that you're normally reactive to to practice non-reaction. So yes, you're going to react at first and you're going to react probably a lot, but that's okay because then you're going to say, okay, now I'm going to remain calm. I'm getting upset. It's okay that I get upset because these things need to come up so I can practice non-reaction and then we just keep practicing it and it gets easier and your life gets better but again i can't tell you what you can and can't do i'm just here to offer advice yes get yourself back up again that is the truth that is the truth negative negative thoughts or feelings won't ruin anything you're allowed to be human exactly exactly because you got to remember you're a receiver of thoughts okay on a deeper level of things like and understanding this is like you're just a receiver you're literally like i always say you're a magnet to these thoughts so these thought forms are all around us all the time and you know yes you're going to have moments that you dip and you're going to be like attracting thoughts that are just aren't favorable right and a lot of them are repetitive and dominant because of your past creations that's why meditation is so powerful and non-reaction is so powerful because you're raising your energy and you're you're bringing in what's actually meant for you right and this is why i always recommend guys truthfully start a meditation practice really start one it's so much easier than people realize but i'm telling you it's it's i think it's very important when it comes down to manifesting your best life how can we handle when someone brings up our past mistakes like how should we respond so they're only bringing up your past mistakes the app Diab, is, it's because you're having a thought of that. So it's all you. It's all your energy, right? No one's going to bring anything up unless it's inside you still, right? They're only going to reflect back you. It's, it's a mirror. So in those moments, you just stay calm. That's it. You just get really calm. You come from a good place and you just say, oh, yeah, that's not who I am anymore, right? You, you come from a good place. You respond from a good place, right? That's all you have to do in those moments. And again, those things will fade out of your life. Yes, sensei, yes. Reacting is being competitive, being combative, it's being defensive, it's, you know, it's blaming, it, it, it is, it's victim mentality, right? That's why personally, I like to take, I'm okay with taking the blame and taking full responsibility for how I feel in each moment, right? Because it's just, it gives me all the power. It gives you all the power. It's not blaming anyone outside of you so i can change it in this moment by practicing calmness and choosing how i respond to things right yes in some moments it takes a little bit of practice for me to calm down like if i'm getting upset or something but again it gets easier if you know they're just thoughts yeah yes 
user how oh oh god i got a lot of questions coming here how has yourself how has your self care changed from when you started to now um my self care uh i've cut a lot of unnecessary stuff out of my life i would say that things that you thought you had to do things that you thought were important that really just aren't important So Allison, it's one of those things when it comes to believing in your manifestations is you have to really understand this. You have to understand like every possible reality exists in this very moment. I know that's a concept to understand over time, but remind yourself that every possible reality exists in this very moment. So anything you want to experience, it's done right away. It's literally done right away. So how you're going to start believing it is by reminding yourself it's done, right? And whenever you're worried about it or you're dropping in lower energies at all, not even about the manifestation, you're practicing non-reaction, right? You're just remaining calm in those moments. And what happens over time is that you, you, will, you, will, you will dip on that side of believing it's done more so than on this side of being in doubts and worries and fear and opposition. So that's really all you're doing, Allison, is you're just reminding yourself that it's done. It's done. Every possible reality exists right now. I know it's done. It's unfolding in this very moment. And, and then you just go living your everyday life, right? That's what's important. Don't keep thinking about it because then you're chasing it, right? What you're Because it's done and that's not you believing it's done. It's you knowing it's done and focusing on yourself. Focusing um, on, you know, doing the work of practicing non-reaction. Remaining calm when you don't feel good and feeling the best you can in each moment. Can you explain giving it to yourself? I've seen so many people overcomplicate or not understand it. What do you mean by... Um, I don't understand what you mean by giving it to yourself. The manifestation? Your, the, the thing about your manifestation is that you're not manifesting anything. You're simply knowing that what you want is done, right? And you are not trying to create a story or do anything to make yourself believe it. You're not doing anything to make yourself believe it because it's done. Right? You don't have to tell the story. You don't have to create a story. It's best to not do any of that. That's what brings it in the best way possible for you. What brings it in the best way possible for you is by you literally focusing 100% on yourself, practicing non-reaction, feeling good without it, right? Feeling the best you can in each moment. Yeah, so that's where I don't agree, Dorky. Now, I wouldn't say you can't do visualizations, but you want to make it, you want it to be natural. You're not setting up a scene. It's more of like you're just in a meditative state and you, you just start visualizing. And when you start to feel good, when you start to practice non-reaction and you, you start a meditation practice, you'll see that that will happen very naturally. You will not have to set up a scene. There, that's very, I did not resonate with any of that. You need to do it in first person, third person, this person, that person. I'm sorry, but that's not how this works, guys. You were born to create. You were born to manifest. If anyone's trying to teach you a special way to do it, and if you're not doing it that way, you're not going to get your technique, that is extremely limiting. Please, that is limiting. You don't have to do anything to get your manifestation. It's literally done in this very moment. The more that, the, the, the less you involve yourself in it, the better. You're involving yourself in yourself. <laughs> like, literally, like, you're just practicing non-reaction, feeling the best you can in each moment. And when you don't feel good, you're staying calm. And if you think about your manifestation ever, you're just like, oh, that's done. I don't got to think about that. I don't got to figure that out. I don't got to create that story. I don't got to do anything. So it's basically just you feeling the best you can. Like you're only creating a feel good atmosphere in order to start experiencing what you want. That's it. Doing anything. That's why my affirmations, I make them general. Because you don't even have to do money affirmations to start having more money in your life. You can just pet your cat for three days straight and love your cat for three days straight and you can start bringing more money in your life. Because everything you want is done. You're only creating a feel good atmosphere within. So that's why whenever I make affirmations, I make them very general. Like not even I am, I am a millionaire. How much resistance does that have in it, please? Like I just say wealthy, successful. Like words that feel good, words that, you know, I resonate with that make me feel good. Just words, magic, beautiful, like literally, right? Stuff that makes you feel good. You're creating a feel good atmosphere within. That's all you're doing. 
So dorky, now yes, you can do techniques if that makes you feel good and it's helping you, but if it's causing you any resistance, that's when you wanna stop them. So always check in with how you're feeling when you're doing them. That's the only thing I tell people. I don't say you can't do anything. You can do whatever you want. Literally do what's best for you. Um, for me, techniques always cause resistance, so I stayed away from them. But if you do them and they, you know, they're helping you, then do them. You know, always trust yourself, guys. Like I'm only speaking through my experience and what has worked for me. But you know, you always have to trust yourself. That's basically what I'm mostly talking about is helping people trust themselves along the way. Because that's all. That's what it's going to truly come down to. Just full, full trust in this process. Letting go of all the things that don't serve us, all those fear-based beliefs, right? Yes, and alignment we have, right? Yes, it will create love in you and then attract your desires. I've been recently heard complaints about him, no idea, like that he just repeats the same thing. Yes, definitely. Sensei, definitely. She's from Philly. Yes, I'm from Philly. Be yourself. Yeah, be yourself. I'm just, I, I, don't you like, I'm like, yeah, be yourself. Like, I'm scrolling up to see what I missed. That's all. Yeah, I don't agree with that you have to visualize. I know, dorky. That, like, I didn't like any of that stuff. I was so quick. Um,. I was so quick to get out of all those teachings, like people explaining it, like you have to visualize like this, you have to do it in third person and make sure you don't do it like this. I manifested like so many things so effortlessly into my life. Like when it came to like people, everybody talks about SPs, right? I manifested them just by saying, oh, I know they're gonna come back. And they always did. And all it was was a thought. And like six months later, they'd be calling me, hey, what's going on? It was never, nothing ever came of it. But like, you just, I just, did it by saying I know. I wasn't visualizing anything. I wasn't doing anything. Guys, just think about it like this. This is how I look at it. Before you knew you created your own reality, you were not visualizing anything to experience it. I didn't visualize myself, you know, pre like pregnant or like having kids or any of that. It just, it, I just said, all right, I'm going to do this and that's going to happen and blah, blah, blah. Like it just, it just happens. <laughs> Like you can do what makes you feel good. Yeah. So I, I always try, I used to say that a lot in videos, like you guys, you, you never did these techniques to manifest before. Why start them now? Why do that now, right? Just get, you're, you're literally, all you're doing is deprogramming your mind. You're just getting rid of all the fear-based beliefs. That's it. By staying calm. <laughs> That's it. By, by literally staying calm and practicing it, right? Over and over again, because yeah, it's easier said than done. Well, yeah, just stay calm. It takes practice to, to not react. It really does. But it, it gets easier and easier. Your life gets better and better, and you realize how much you are in control of your reality. I know, me too, dorky. I agree 100%. It just causes, and you just keep reminding yourself. Like, people are like, well, how do I believe it? You just keep reminding yourself that it's done. You keep reminding yourself that every possible reality exists in this very moment. Like it's, that's just how, that's how this reality is. That's how it is here, right? And you, you can, you know, you can listen to people talk about that too, how there's endless possibilities and, you know, your thought, like I always talk about how three years ago when I started, I learned this, right? I, I became aware that our thoughts create our reality. I, I, those concepts did not sink in until probably most recently that I was able to truly, truly see it in my everyday life and how I literally create my own reality, like through every emotion, every thought, right? But three years ago, I was writing vlogs about it. I was talking about it. I was writing it in my books, like thoughts create your own reality, preaching it, right? But those concepts don't sink in right away. None of those concepts sink in right away. I'm just repeating what I heard through Joe Dispenza and Eckerd and, you know, listening to people.
Oh, thanks, BB. Yeah, that one's a good one. Being kind to people and just, you know, not expecting anything in return. It's That is overall very powerful. Exactly, Vols. And that's another one, Sally, right? The time is illusion that, like, it takes time to let that one sink in because we're still reacting even though it is only now, right? My favorite thing I've manifested, I would say probably my animals. <laughs> probably my animals. Um, Allison, check out my, click in my bio there. I, I, is it bio? I don't even know. My link tree thing and then you'll see all the way down. It's like face, it'll say private Facebook group. Let me know if you can find it. It's called uh, Create Your Best Life. I'm, I'm bad with that stuff. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Nathan. The mind is everything what you think you become. Very true, Nathan. I guess the concept of time only needed to be created for us. Yeah, I, that's what it is, Sally, for us to be able to have this experience, right? For us to just have, that's what this experience is about. It is time. I'm okay with, <laughs> I think we're getting out of all those things though. Like being able, like, tr you know, we're, we're getting out of that, I believe. The time thing, the time concept. Oh, no problem, Allison. I'll, I'll, as soon as I'm off here, Allison, I, always, I go through and approve everyone. I have to approve people. I don't know why though, honestly. I could probably take that off, the approval thing. Because honestly, like, I'm never going to tell anyone no. <laughs> Hi, James. Is that a real question or are you being like, you know? <laughs> oh, you guys. I feel like I'm not screaming. I'm, I am screaming, but I feel like I'm calmer tonight. <laughs> How to manifest my plain anxiety away. Definitely meditation, Eddie. I would say get yourself some like headphones and find a good meditation for when you're on the plane. Breath work will, would also help with that. Like um, breath work while, even while you're on the plane. Same thing, it's all, not, it's all reacting, so practicing non-reaction, practicing remaining calm. But I would definitely look into some meditations that you could listen to while you're on the plane. Even just listening to someone or something, right? Something that's soothing in those moments. <laughs> I do love this stuff, Dream. And I love just sharpening it for myself as well, right? In the way I explain it. Oh, Allison, I love that. Thank you. Yeah, so even when I'm, I listen to my videos too because I'm always trying to see where can I improve myself? Where can I improve on how I'm explaining this? You know, what, how can I explain this better? How can I make this easier? I'm always gonna do this because I love it. So I'm always gonna be trying to make it easier, explain it better. And I'm still learning too. Guys, we're always still learning, right? User on this with this journey with me. We're like Abraham says, we're in this together, right? <laughs> yes. Whenever I was on a plane, I would listen to like um, Abraham Hicks. The whole ride was very soothing. Um, definitely meditative sounds. I would meditate on the plane, which helps with anxiety and and breath work as well. Taking some deep breaths in, focusing on your breathing, is really helpful. Ah. Uh, so today, I actually had a moment. I was going to make a video today. I was, like, I always tell you guys now, like, if I ever drop, I never drop like I used to. I don't react to life anymore. My life's very peaceful. Everything pretty much flows. But when I do have those moments, so I had to go to, to get food. I had to make dinner. And I'm like, oh, my God, I just feel like I just made dinner. And I found myself spiraling, right? I'm like, I'm just complaining. I'm like, oh, I, gotta, I always got to make dinner. Like, I don't feel like making dinner. And I was like, stop. Literally stop. All right, this is what we're gonna do. This this is how I talk to myself. I'm like, we're gonna go, we're gonna get up, we're gonna go to the store, we're gonna get blah, 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 
and then come home and it actually so as i was driving i was like dipping again and i'm like Ugh, okay i started doing breath work and it got me right out of it and i went to the store got everything i needed came home put on some music made dinner made a dessert as well and it just lifted my mood so you can get yourself out of those lower energies right you and it gets easier you won't find yourself staying there anymore because you have the skills you'll have the tools to get yourself out but you're human and you're going to have those moments you're just going to get better at getting yourself out of it and you'll start taking full responsibility for those moments you're not going to blame anyone why do i do this and why is it because you know it's all you right and it ended up turning out amazing i came home i cooked i had music playing by myself made a dessert like literally it was it worked out great <laughs> I love making those. Um, so meditation is not, I know it's not popular, but I'm not going to stop pushing it because when I take breaks from now, I can meditate easily. Like I can just quiet my thoughts easily, but I've been intentionally meditating where I sit down and I give myself like a lot of time to really quiet my thoughts and things have really shifted for me again. So guys, meditation is so powerful meditate it, it i think it speeds things along so i do post all those videos to help you guys you could take a couple minutes throughout your day to just listen to like those sounds i scroll through, i got i do my the stuff i post i use too so i'll scroll through all my meditation videos and do like it, what do i have like four of them and that's four minutes of me just quieting my thoughts right yes roxanne i have a really good one i want to post guys it's like it's a nighttime meditation and it's like um, crickets and I really like it. I said this would be great for sleeping like to go to sleep Did you No, no, I think that's an that's an awesome thing Roxanne. I think that's awesome. I Think that's super No, oh, so you said you fall asleep. I used to do that all the time Roxanne So I thought it was okay I've heard people say even like Abraham Hicks like if you're falling asleep, you're not really getting the full meditation but I used to do it all the time and I still had successful meditations and still changes, positive changes in my life. But try to take time to sit up when you're doing it at times too so you don't fall asleep. Well, another thing I used to do, Roxanne, was that I would, I would get ready first and then meditate. Instead of meditating as soon as I wake up because I was still sleepy, I would go back to sleep. Instead, I would get ready for work and then sit down and meditate. So I'd be more awake. But yes, I... I definitely, is that because I'm a beginner? Yeah, I, Roxanne, I used to, I used to fall asleep all the time, all the time. But to me, I still felt like I was meditating. I still felt refreshed afterwards. Oh, thank you. Am I a star seed? I have somebody else asked me that question. I, I don't know. I don't know about that. Vols, are you saying that you did 40 days and 40 nights of meditation before? Because that's awesome. I, I was like dedicated to meditating. I was dedicated to meditation. I would wake up every day before work. I would get up at 5.30 a.m. And I would meditate for an hour every single day. Another thing that's really helpful that helped me, I don't talk about these things as much because like it's been so long, is what helped me, Roxanne, and I would do this a lot. I would get a swing. I had a swing. I bought one. It like it's It was like a hammock type swing and I... It was in my house, like one of those ones that you just put into the ceiling. And that helped me meditate. Like I would find myself, you know how like, that's why I like watching a fan because you're dazed. That's to me, that's meditation when you're like dazed out. Well, that's what would happen when I would be in a swing. Like I would go out of consciousness in that moment. Do you believe you have power over other people's actions through visualization? I don't know. What do you mean by that, Katie? Like, meaning, like, are we having control over others? No. Like, no. You're not controlling anyone, right? Mm-mm. 
Is that what you mean? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking that's what you mean. <laughs> Just remember it's only you. It's only your thoughts. It's only your energy, right? And you're always coming from a, 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 a high energy, but you also have to understand that you have to really understand that literally every possible reality exists. You're just moving towards your best one. I don't personally do. Can you manifest people to treat you better? So you manifest people, Katie, you manifest people to treat you better by treating yourself better first. You focusing on focusing on yourself. And how you do that is you practice non-reaction, right? So you don't take things so personally anymore. That's how you become more secure in who you are. That's how people treat you better. You also don't care how anyone is behaving in your in your life, right? You're feeling good. You get to a place where you feel good no matter what is happening outside of you. You're secure and stable in who you are, right? So it, it really does come down to not taking things personally, honestly. Yeah, Ava, because you think about it, like you, that's the energy you're always sending out. And that's how I always look at it. I look at it as I'm always sending, you know, positive, loving energy out. And that, that comes back to me because it's only my energy anyway. So why would I do anything less than that? Right. So I always think about it like that. And then I always think when I'm in those lower energies that I take full responsibility for that in that moment. And I'm going to do my best. And I always say, do my best. I'm not going to put too much effort behind it to feeling better, right? By staying calm, by meditating, by moving slower, by breathing slower, by not taking it so darn seriously in that moment, right? So do you meditate with your eyes open? Like with the, I do both, Heather. I do both. So sometimes I'll start by like watching the fan spin and I'll just get hypnotized by that or the swirly thing or just watching the rain fall like on my phone. And then sometimes I'll just, I'll, I'll close my eyes, but I don't think it really matters. It's whatever feels good to you, right? Um, sometimes I'll close my eyes and meditate and just um, not listen to anything, like literally no sound, just completely, oh, just comp my drink, completely quiet. Just watch a year from now, my That's why I always say like um, meditation is like it's there's no like perfect way to do it. Right. It's whatever feels good for you. It's very like easy to meditate. You just keep practicing quieting your thoughts, basically. Right. I, that to me, it's about quieting your thoughts. Um, people will say observing, but I prefer quieting my thoughts. Of course, of course you can, Salem. If you can truly ignore it, yes, definitely, right? Because you got to remember, it's only you, so you're you're the one creating it, right? So in a way, you're cre you have to know that you're creating that. So if you can just take, you know, if you can just ignore it, that's awesome. That's that's basically what it is. You're becoming unbothered. That's what these practices are. Practicing non-reaction is you becoming unbothered. And in return, your life gets better. You you have better. Um, you start. I say the word attract. You become aware of what's really possible for you, right? And you start experiencing those things by letting go of the things that don't serve you anymore, like this story you're saying right here. <laughs> I have it in my fridge, and I made I made dessert tonight, Nathan. I made, um, I don't know if anybody ever had dirt. I'm sure everybody had dirt. It's like the, I do chocolate pudding. Chocolate pudding, Cool Whip, and crushed double stuffed Oreos. And I like kind of mix it together. It's so good. So that was the dessert I made today. And my, my refresher's in the fridge, Nathan. I definitely got my refresher today. Yeah, dirt. It's like dirt pudding. <laughs> Did you ever hear of it? What's a dirt? <laughs> it's chocolate pudding with Cool Whip and crushed Oreos, but I only get double stuffed Oreos. Only double stuffed. The chocolate Oreos. Yeah. 
because there's vanilla Oreos too, isn't there? I actually prefer the vanilla, but for the dirt pudding, you need to put, um, and you, if you ever heard of it, like if you take it to a party or something, you put gummy worms on the top to make it look like dirt. But I don't do that part. But it's so it's so good and it's so easy to make. It takes 10 seconds. It's like it's the pudding that you just you mix and then you put in the fridge for five minutes, right? You mix it with milk and then you buy Cool Whip. You put Cool Whip on top of it and then you put the crushed Oreos on top and that's it. You have you have a like a dessert just like that. It's a kitty thing, yes, Heather. I used to make it all the time. That was like my thing that I would make for people's parties. That and brownies, peanut butter brownies. <laughs> I missed it, Nathan. I'll just leave it at that. I won't scroll up. You should probably delete it. But yeah, I used to make it a lot. And I don't know, just the other day I thought about like making it, so. Hopefully my kids eat it too. <laughs> It's, you guys are awesome. Seriously. I, cause I don't ever have to see anything negative. <laughs> Aw, thanks bulls. I think I get more excited for those things than my kids. <laughs> I'm like, Guess what I made? I made dirt. And they're like, oh yeah, sounds great, mom. Carry <laughs> you in states or Canada. Philly, US, not Canada. Allison. Hi, Patrick. Oh wait, Heather's not one? <laughs> It's up to her if she wants to be one. Because I don't like to put that pressure on anyone. If Heather if Heather says yes, then I will. How can I deal with the thought of getting my hopes up? How can I deal? That's still, now that, Dia, just think about that. That's still a not, that doesn't feel good to even think that thought at all, right? So when even when you're thinking that thought, you wanna practice non-reaction, you wanna get calm because it's already done. You have to keep reminding yourself that it's already done. You're, you're just, you don't, you're at a place right now where you're just not trusting yet. So you need to focus more on yourself right now and feeling good without it. When you start doing the practice of just doing what you can do to feel good in your everyday reality and remaining calm when you don't, what, what happens is your current reality will start to work in your favor. That's what builds the trust. And you'll start getting signs and synchronicities of what you're actually manifesting as well. <laughs> Heather, I'm dying. <laughs> yes, girl, hold on one sec. Thank you. I crack up because when I click, like, I won't ask you guys because I don't want to put you on the spot like that, right? But what's funny is that when I click on it for you to be one, it asks me a million questions. I'm like, yes, click, yes. <laughs> Eventually, it's going to just be all my moderators and me. And that's it. It just makes this be, like go so much smoother though, right? Hi, Matt. <laughs> if you want that car, Allison, if that's like something you desire, yeah, why not? Sometimes it's just something that's catching our in our awareness for a while, right? We're just aware of it, so we keep seeing it over and over again. Like, for a while I was seeing white cars, like white cars with like tinted windows, and I was seeing them everywhere. Thoughts on, what is that? I don't know what that is. Business, auto, hip, is it, you're just talking about hypnosis in general? Like auto hypnosis? <clears throat> Oh, self-hypnosis. Um, is that what you're saying, Heather? S I never did it, but 
you know, it's one of those things, like if it's something that you resonate with, then go for it, I guess. I would say, isn't hypnosis kind, kind of like also, yeah, see, I don't know too much about hypnosis really to give you an answer. I guess if it's something you resonate with and you're interested in, then, then go for it, I guess. Like, I never resonated with any of those things, like um, those videos that the subliminals or like, I like affirmations, like I like to do, I do my own affirmations and I forgot, I wanted to post the, the video for you guys. I like my own voice when I do an affirmation and the weird, because anything else, I get weird, crazy, creepy dreams from, from like subliminals. But if I do my own voice, I don't. I actually have really good positive dreams when I record my own voice. Like, let's say before I go to bed, I just do like, I like very general affirmations. So I'll do like, um, like the ones that I do, let's say wealthy, successful. I'll have a dream, a really positive dream about me being successful or something, right? Like, and it's always a great dream and I wake up feeling good. This is why I like not only general, especially if I'm gonna listen to them as I'm going to sleep, but my own voice, because I think that's what gets to your subconscious even quicker. So I have this um, app that I use. It's called, um, I said it yesterday, I can't, I, why can't I, I can't think of what it's called. Voice Record Pro, and I really like that. Oh, really, Matt? That's cool. <laughs> Matt, right? Like, could you imagine? I don't know. Like, that's so crazy. People have seizures. No problem. But always go, like, again, like, I don't, I'm not against anything or trying anything. I've tried everything, right? So if it's something like that interests you, try it out. Why not? That's where, that's how I came up with doing breath work. I, like, tried all different kinds of ways to do it and techniques until I like came up with my own way that worked for me, right? I, cause I, you can't force me to do anything. So I, I couldn't do Joe's, I couldn't get it right. I couldn't figure it out. Um, I know Wim Hof, I think that's his name. He had one and, and I was like, I can't do this either. So I just started playing around with different ways. And the one that I did was actually, actually worked really well for me. Really Matt? That, I mean, hey, listen, if it's helping people, I know Joe's amazing. He's done amazing work and helped so many people, right? So, Mike, I mean, that's still, it is still you reacting, right? It's you just dropping in lower energies. And the more that you can, you know, stay kind to yourself and calm yourself like be calm in those moments right they're just thoughts they're they're from our past creations Mike you have to remind yourself like this is from my past I didn't know that I created my own reality right and some of these Mike some of these stories they just hold a lot of momentum they hold a lot of um they're just dominant they hold a lot of energy they're I say they're heavy so just give it time keep remaining calm in those moments remind yourself that this was before, I didn't know I created my own reality, right? There's, you don't have to blame yourself, right? I, I don't, I didn't know that I created my own reality. Just always remind yourself that, Mike, in those moments. So just, okay, so uh, business, just know that like the, when you're practicing non-reaction, the byproduct is that you feel better automatically. So it's almost like when you're remaining calm, when you don't feel good, you're great gradually getting out of those lower energies and that's you raising your vibration but you can do other things as well and i talk about this a lot so you have control of things in this very moment like cutting out certain things like i always say cut out the news don't politics gossip drama um you know stay away from like social media stuff that's just drama and just just nonsense that's just not serving you so that's automatically going to raise your energy when you cut all those things that start be start 
practicing saying no to things that just you don't resonate with anymore right I don't you're just doing it to make other people happy right so that's all stuff you have control over you have control over those things in the meantime you're practicing non-reaction right you're remaining calm when things pop up in your reality that don't feel good that just like pop up or a thought you're you're remaining calm you're breathing slower doing some breath work and all those things another thing that raises your energy level is meditation having a meditation practice will also raise your meditation and breath work together especially um, that's going to raise your energy as well so all those things are raising your energy but you know you can you, you always want and another thing is asking yourself questions like what feels best in this moment what can I do that would feel best in this moment for me sometimes it's just simply getting up it's getting up and just moving and I might be doing nothing. I just I'm just walking through my house, and then all of a sudden I'm like, oh, okay, let me let me start doing this, right? So like, it could just be something, not even something major. I've been working on myself for about four years now. I'm afraid I'll be sick. now, Peter. That's just a fear. So you have to know that you have to understand that like you create your own reality. It's all you, right? And you have to also know that every possible reality exists in this very moment, right? Every possible reality exists, so that's not possible that you can that you'll be alone forever. So that's just an unfavorable thought. So you want to keep pr practicing calmness in those moments, right? Let those thoughts just be released. Ah, uh, yeah, genius question: How to become more open, or just open in general to change? So to just become more open to like um, open-minded. Do you mean? or not be so afraid of change. So just know that you don't have to jump into anything. The practices that I teach, you don't have to like jump into something that you're not ready for, right? Like let it, as soon as you set an intention, you're moving towards it in that very moment. If you want better this, or you want more this, or you wanna start doing this, that intention, you're moving towards it in that very moment, right? And how you're moving towards it is just by feeling the best you can in each moment, and you'll get there in the most natural way. So don't think you have to jump to change or jump to do this or jump to do that, right? It'll happen very natural. Mm -hmm. No problem, Peter. Yeah, so like we don't understand, we don't, we don't realize that as soon as we're, you know, we find out this information that we are here to live an amazing life, and you can be doing of anything you want. You're, you're now you're moving towards that right now, guys. Like we're all moving. Most people are moving, not most, but a lot of us are moving towards that right now in this very moment towards our best lives, the best version of our manifestations. And you know, you're not moving towards it when you're not feeling so great, when you're being reactive, but that's okay because that's part of the process as well, right? Because now we know we're still, we're moving forward. So you're just, you're literally just practicing non-reaction. You're literally just creating that feel good atmosphere within that's moving you towards everything. How you know you're moving towards your manifestations in your best life is you're feeling good. And I always say you're feeling okay to good. You don't have to feel like, you know, jumping up and down, running around, right? Open. Oh yeah, I, that's true, right, Nathan? Just want to say you help me. Oops. Aw, roll. Uh, I love hearing that. <laughs> Aw. I wanted to see that one question and I missed it. A right or a wrong answer. Everything is about understanding. Yes. That is so true, Nathan. It's just about, you know, understanding and, you know, accepting everyone for where they're at, right? And accepting things with how they are. Do not react, stay calm. Yes, that's so true. Don't do not react, stay calm, remain grounded. Oh, that's what I wanted to check out. Do you, Mike? That's actually awesome that you do that. I know that feeling of where sometimes you just want to run, right? 
I think sometimes we put a lot of pressure on ourselves, guys, like when we're in a lower energy and we're like, that's causing us more resistance. It's okay to be in that, have in, the, in that lower energy for that moment because you're aware of it now and you're just remaining calm in those moments and you're doing the best you can in those moments and you are going to slowly get out of them. Trust me. I think when I look back to think like, I used to think like, what the heck, does this even work? I've been practicing this forever and I'm still feeling like crap. But it actually takes time. It takes time to practice non-reaction. And the more that you can understand that, I think you release resistance alone. Like now, I, I, if I ever do like drop, it's so quick. I do meditate, Mike, yes, every day, every day. It's so easy for me to meditate. I always tell people I've, I've been doing it for so long that I can just sit down and just quiet my thoughts like on the spot pretty much. And that's why I tell people to do it because it gets easier as well the more you do it. Like a lot of people, you know, I used to just, I used to like talk about this a lot, like for a really long time. And I would be talking to my friends and I, they, I, they would say like, oh my God, this, this, all this is going on. And I'm like, well, are you still meditating? And they're like, now I stopped. And I'm like, don't stop. Stay consistent, right? Even if you're only doing it for three minutes a day. Make it a, a regular practice in your life because it, it's. I think it's. A, I think it's very important because you will get to a place where you don't have to like intentionally meditate. Like it will be natural for you. You'll be able to just sit down and just shut your thoughts down and connect. How I explain it is that if I ever because and your non-reaction helps you meditate too because you're practicing quieting your mind and being calm, and it, all those things connect. So if I have a question and I'm like. Why, like, what do I got to do? Am I missing something? Let's just say I have a question like that. I can get so calm and quiet and just connect instantly and get an answer instantly. And that's what you want. You want to always be able to be your own, like your own inner guidance. Like go to your own self for these questions and trust yourself and know that you're always being guided and led to the next best step. That you don't need anything or anyone outside of you ever you can ask the questions and get the answers automatically. That's where meditation and non-reaction are going to help you do that, right? Yes, Raul. Yes. And even if you need to have, even if you need to do breath work for a moment, right? And you just kind of remind yourself, like now it's like we know. We know that these stories are have zero power over us. It's just like we're just still kind of reacting to them because we really truly think that they do. We think they're so real, right? I mean, I would say like, I, I, Matt, I'd probably be stealing Abraham by saying like, we all know that that reality exists, that we all live in that peace where there's no fear-based beliefs anymore. So that's how, that's where I think we're headed to getting out of all these fear-based beliefs. But like you hear it explained in all different kinds of ways that like, it doesn't mean that people, because like, you know how they explain it? Like you're just going to keep coming back and repeating these things over and over again until you get it right. I kind of resonate with that a little bit. So there might be like, like how Eckert explains it, like there's two I don't know where I hear this stuff, but there's going to be two earths, right? So it's like you have people that are going to still be repeating these cycles over until they get it. And then they move to the new earth. I know that probably sounds out there to some people. Um, so I believe that like the new earth is moving towards where we're, we don't have any more fear-based beliefs. We all, there's, there's none of that anymore. We're just living in harmony, right? That's kind of like, Yes, no, no more lower energies, no more fear-based beliefs at all. Just in peace and harmony, living in those higher energies and just because there's so much here for us to experience. There's so many amazing things, but there's just so many limiting beliefs around all these things, right? So you're going to be in this world where you're going to be able to experience all these amazing things, but without the doubts and the fears and the worries, right? So I, like I resonate with it a little bit as if like, you know, you're going to keep experiencing this stuff if you're going to stay stuck in those cycles. And I know that sounds fear-based too, and I don't want to be preaching that to anyone, but. No problem, Matt. Again, I'm sure I heard that from someone. I'm sure I, I know I heard the two earths from, I think Eckerd explains the two earths. And, um, 
I don't know, I just, I don't like to say that there's karma, but like, I believe that if you keep repeating cycles over and over again, that is kind of karma in a way. It's all like just said in different ways, right? But yeah, like you're gonna keep repeating cycles if you keep reacting to life. So I'm just always trying to do my part and help as many people as I can help, like literally. Like that's why I get on here, that's why I talk about this stuff. I know not everybody's gonna resonate, but this is me literally just being me, like honestly. So Allison, it's knowing that that reality exists, right, of, of that job, and you're moving towards it in this very moment, right? So the thing about it is, is that you won't have to like, this is, I've manifested so many jobs, Allison, let me just tell you. And I would like try so hard to get the job, and as soon as I would stop and give up, the job would come in. So just know by practicing what I tell you to practice, just feeling the best you can in each moment, know you're moving towards it, know, it's, know, know that it's done and you're moving towards it, it will show up in your path of least resistance. Right now you're gonna be put on your path of least resistance. And just trust the process as much as possible. But you can, Allison, like, you can say, like, what would you like? Talk to yourself sometimes, like, I would love to work. I used to say, before my last job that I just had, I said, I wanna work with older women because they're not, they're no drama. And I want, I want it to be like, um, like a small place where everybody gets along. Like I had requests, I manifested all of it. That's before I knew about manifesting. What do you do when you fall in black hole even you're high for? So wait, what do you do when you fall in a, like when you drop in a lower energy, even if you were high for a good moment? So you're saying like you were just feeling great and then all of a sudden you just drop, you just stay calm. Just in those moments, do some breath work, remain calm, and then and, and, and it'll pass. It's just like anything else. It's a practice at first to balance out those energies, right? Because we are, I, I have a, I wrote an ebook on emotions of how like you are on an emotional roller coaster at first. It does feel that way. So you, you do not want that relationship, lovey. You're not ready for a relationship. If that's where you're at, that comment says to me, you're not ready. If you're bracing yourself for bad behavior, you're not ready. You're not ready. So you're focusing on yourself. You're focusing on you. And you need to get to a place where you are secure and independent on your own without the relationship. If you want to bring in a healthy partner, you need to be healthy yourself, right? So that comment to me says that you're not ready yet. You need to work on yourself. You need to feel good without it. You need to get to a place where you are just living your every... You need to be at a place before you... Uh, if you want to manifest a healthy relationship to where you're so involved in your everyday life that you're not thinking about a relationship. That's when a relationship comes in, when you least expect it, right? How you could stay in the old patterns of fear and control rather than love and freedom. Mm-hmm. I know, Matt, I know. And I just think that some people just, um, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a practice. It's a practice. And I think sometimes we're just doing our best, right? What about when you are going through a rough season and can't shake that feeling even? Oh, God, digging more in. You gotta just keep, you're not digging more in. You're not, you're, you just, it's, you feel like you're going backwards, but you're not. We all feel that way at times. We all feel like we're not making progress at times. You, you just keep practicing this. You keep picking yourself back up again. You keep saying, I got this. You keep saying, I can do this. You keep saying, I'm exactly where I need to be. Everything's working out in my favor. You, you just keep building yourself up in those moments, right? You, you, you pick yourself back up again. You do the best you can. You do the best you can. Yes, Matt. Right, that's what I always say. Like, I always, sorry for the ignorant question here. Oh, a specific person, Nathan. <laughs> So it would be like, um, 
like maybe a past relationship that you had, right? Someone else or it could be like you're somebody you're with now, like a partner and you're having conflict with them. Like, so you could be with someone and you're having conflict and you're trying to manifest a healthy relationship with that person. So that it's like, it's a per special person in your life. I know people say it's, it can be anything. It could be like a, any family member or just a relationship in general, but hell, I've always seen it on here. It's definitely a specific person. It's a, it's a relationship. It's like an, in, you know, a partner. No problem, Nathan and Patrick. Yeah, so like it's it could be like um, a past relationship with somebody or a current relationship that just isn't going well and you're trying to you know manifest a healthy relationship with that person. In the chat room, they are just uncomfortable. Yeah, I used to say that too, Matt. Like it's just people don't even understand that they create their own realities, right? They just don't understand that yet. But more people are, are catching on, right? Yes, we do. We always look outward and that's why we're coming to a place even with relationships where, you know, we're, we need to know that you don't need someone to make you feel a certain way. You can make yourself feel a certain way, right? It's not being, Yes, that is part of the experience about having amazing relationships, right? That is part of this. But it's also not needing anyone outside of you to make you feel better because as soon as they don't do it, and you're going to be triggered again and you're going to be like, oh my God, they don't love me, right? And you're going to react. So it's about being solid because that's when you get the best relationship. So you won't experience that anymore. When you're, when you're confident, secure, and you know who you are, you, you won't attract that from anyone negative experience those types of behaviors from anyone you just won't like even just i i use my kids as an example like you know like they if they i don't base my mood on their mood right i'm i stay who i am no matter what i stay positive and in alignment no matter what if they just for a second and my kids i'm telling you they always nine times out of ten match my energy you know and if they if they have a moment they just go in their room and then a, an hour later they come out and they're fine they're happy again i know right I know I'm gonna get out of here too, Nathan. Now that you said that it's that late, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get out of here too, guys. Thank you so much, Nathan. Thanks everyone for moderating. That's where I have issues if my son is in a mood, it rubs off. Yeah, so Heather, use your use your son as a use your son as a teacher to help you. This is this is so important. And never judge him. Never say like, oh my God, he's so grumpy. And I'm not judging you for judging him. I have kids too. I had to practice this too, Heather. So I'm saying it to help you because it's gonna help you. And it's not only gonna help you, but it's gonna help your son. Like literally he is gonna resonate with how you're being and he's gonna be positive all the time. I'm telling you, it's powerful. So Heather, the more that you can just like, don't let his energy affect you. You stay in a high energy no matter what. Don't judge him in your mind and you just stay pleasant, you stay kind. You can even start, Heather, by saying like, I love you no matter what, I love you no matter what, I love you. You can start by saying that, right? And eventually you're just never gonna let it bother you, but then they start they start stay being more positive. It's, I'm telling you, it's powerful. We are so powerful. Yeah, but I, but I, I know, like it takes a little bit of practice, you know, but the more you're doing it on yourself, you're and, and you're gonna use he's gonna I say use, I hate saying that word, use him. But you are like he's gonna be your mirror, right? He's gonna be your mirror to help you stay in alignment no matter what and stay positive no matter what and not judge him no matter what and know that he's learning too. He's you know learning through being here as well, right? I love it, guys. I love when you guys say, I love when people come back to me and say, you know, it's helped me so much. You've changed my life. 
And it's not me. It's like the teachings don't come from me, right? I, I do speak from my experience because they worked for me, but I'm just happy to see that people are, you know, they're feeling better, right? They're feeling better because I know what it's like to be in that place, to feel like, you know, you're stuck and it's not you being stuck. It's your thoughts. Our thoughts keep us stuck. It's only our thoughts. But that's so empowering, right, to know that. All right, I'm going to get out of here, guys. Thank you so much again. And I'll be back tomorrow as well, you know. I try to jump on here every night. If you're new to any of this, again, private Facebook group, which I think I'm going to um, take off the approval thing. I don't really need it. I'm going to look it up and see how to do that. Um, yeah, and that's it. I'll be back tomorrow. Thanks again for moderating. Oh, thanks, Patrick. Everyone have a really good night. Love you guys.